Grace Community Church members gather to worship Sunday without the threat of legal action hovering over them. A judge ruled late Friday afternoon that Grace Community Church in Sun Valley, California, can continue hosting indoor worship services and does not have to adhere to any attendance caps or bans on singing. California megachurch pastor John MacArthur filed a lawsuit against Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom and other state officials over ongoing restrictions for churches amid the coronavirus pandemic. CBN's David Brody spoke with Pastor Rob McCoy, also from California, who has been holding indoor services defying a restraining order from local officials. Take a listen. You see this act of what you're doing as not just civil disobedience, but obedience to God in a way? I'm not being disobedient to anybody. I'm being mm -hmm. obedient to God. Right. And the government right. is on his shoulders. And no government, no Caesar is greater than God. No, no government gets in the way of worshiping the one who created us. We're living on his dirt, breathing his air, drinking his water, and eating his food, and we're going to live by his rules. Mm -hmm. and, and he knows that governments are, are weak and that we're to submit to all authority. I'm not failing to abide by Romans 13. If, if people want to accuse me of that, it says that we're to honor the, those in authority God's appointed them. There's no authority that hasn't been appointed by, but that which has been appointed by God, they're, they're his instruments for our good. And then he goes on to say that they carry the sword, a weapon, and they're, they're, they're ministers of justice to execute wrath on those who would do evil. I believe that entirety of the passage and they're there for our good. And the cool thing about being in a constitutional republic in America is we know who the authority is in Romans 13. It's found in the first three words of the preamble. We the people, they govern by our consent and they're bound by a constitution. They're not permitted to violate. Sometimes uh, it's, it, it can be hard to judge someone's motive, obviously, but with Gavin Newsom, how nefarious is all of this in, in your view as to what uh, we know the politics, we know his politics, we know the state of California. How concerned are you that the, the motive behind this has a nefarious nature to it? Well, I would encourage every pastor to serve in a, in a, in a civic position in some time in their life because it, it helps you separate and understand that the gospel doesn't conflict with politics. Mm. What you come to realize is they're ideologically opposed to you, but you come to realize they're pretty cool people. And, and people aren't the enemy, they're the opportunity. And you contend in the public square for those ideas. But if if you just back away and say politics is dirty and I don't do it, or I'm tired of voting for the lesser two evils, that's lazy. Hmm. But when you step into the public square, you meet some pretty amazing people that are trapped in bad ideology and you love them into understanding. Love hopes all things. I, I, I call him Governor Mussolini and I have fun with it. And I'd say it to his face, just jokingly. <laughs> just jokingly. <laughs> no, I would. I, I, I know I, you I, would. I, just, I know you would. I had fun with it. But but and, and Shannon Grove, who's our, our Senate minority leader, she meets with the governor and she has a love for that man. She prays for him. She's she's shared with him a, a, about the Lord and talk. You're calling it singing. It's worship. Governor, you don't understand what these people, th how important this is. And he doesn't know. But how will they know unless someone tells them? And so we label them as the enemy and we, we consider them worthy of the fires of hell. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. And I, I'm doing this because I want a guy like him to come to know the Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm fighting for him just as much as for you and everyone else. That's where a pastor is critical because you don't start destroying people. Now, when they step over the line and they start using the sword they possess to suppress other people and hurt them, then mm -hmm. you push back. But right now, I'm resisting with ideology. And I know that he has the ability to find me and imprison me. I'm good with that. And, and the cool thing about lions, that when you're put in a den with them and you're on God's side, they just don't have a taste for your flesh.